Praise the Lord. Once again, greetings to you in the name of Yashwati Masaya and uh, welcome you to this YouTube channel for uh, the first day of the week, Manna. Last week, uh, I spoke about uh, the subject being health and uh, today we will continue that but uh, uh, with a different topic but it is also concerned about the health. So today we will see about herbs and fruits uh, mentioned in Genesis chapter 1, 29. So we have uh, 7 to 8 uh, topics under the first we will see about the herbs in the Bible. Uh, second we will see about the fruit, fruits in the Bible. Third we will see the nine food of the promised land for good health. Fourth we will see about minerals. Fifth we will see about vitamins. Sixth we will see the spirit of man revived through food. And seventh, we'll see that if any man turn away from God's word or turn aside, then what will happen? And then finally, we'll have the conclusion. So these are the subtopics under this main topic, herbs and fruits. So last time we have seen that uh, God who created us is also concerned about your health. As we saw last time the scripture it says in 3rd John verse 2 says Beloved I wish of all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. So God wished that we have all the three blessings the spiritual blessing, the physical blessing and the financial blessing. Any two combination is a problem. So therefore God is concerned about our health and he has created us to live and to praise him uh, in the allotted time God has given us. So therefore uh, today we continue that uh, the subject about health and today we will see about herbs and fruits. Uh, so before we could uh, go into the word uh, let's pray that God may give us Father's revelation to understand his word. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes that we may pray and ask God's guidance. Father in heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Almighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the true and the living God. Today as we are all gathered here, Lord, as we break the word, we pray God have mercy upon us. That thou may give us Father's revelation and give us the wisdom of God and help us to rightly divide the word of truth. So that all glory and honor, praise, dominion may come unto thee, Lord. Enlighten us through the power of the Holy Ghost that we may be able to understand the word and change ourselves and do all that which is right. Honor thee, praise and worship thee, Lord. Bind all parts of darkness, none of those evil force in my power, that your great name be exalted, Lord. Commit everything to the hand, for we ask all these things in the blessed, sweet, holy, excellent name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. So today's topic is herbs and fruits, which are very important. Last time we have seen that in the beginning, the food habits was people used to have herbs, fruits and uh, meat was always last. But today people have changed it. They brought meat first, then herbs and fruits. And that's why people are not able to leave the time God has given us. Many pass away from this world before the time. And therefore we need to change our food habits. And uh, all these things are mentioned in the scriptures. Because God is concerned about our health. And that's why we need to know what we need to eat. And that's why we need to change our menus so that God may able to bless you physically. So the first thing that we see today is herbs in the Bible. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 15, 17, Solomon the great king whom God gave a lot of wisdom. He says in 
Proverbs 15, 17. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. Stalled means the Hebrew word is abak. Abak means fattered. That means you have a fattered ox and uh, you have a good dinner with that but there is always hatred with it. So it is better to have a dinner of herbs where there is love than to have an ox and a hatred therewith. Another scripture again Solomon is writing in uh, Proverbs chapter 17 1. He says better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifices with strife. So he says uh, a little uh, food with quietness is better than a house full of sacrifice with strife. So therefore uh, we need to know what we need to eat and uh, that will keep us healthy and uh, that will give us love and the quietness that there may not be strife because a lot of uh, people have a lot of knowledge but there is always strife uh, love is missing that's why uh, we need to take care of the scriptures that God has written and further in the book of Genesis chapter 1 29 says and God said behold I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth to you it shall be for meat. Meat means it will be your food. So God has given herbs uh, for your food so that you may always remain healthy and may able to praise God, worship God in the beauty of holiness. Herbs in Hebrew is Yeshev. Yeshev means all green. Now there are uh, 12 important herbs though there are many but uh, today I will show you 12 important herbs in the Bible which are very important uh, in your food so that uh, we may be able to live the time God has given us on this earth. So the first uh, out of the 12 the first one is Matthew chapter 23 23 it says about anise. Anise means it is in Hindi we say very shape. Now this anise is uh, good for digestion, for fever, for flu, for cold and cough. So when we have this, God takes care of us from all these situations. That's why anise is very important. That is the first herb. Second that we see again in Matthew 23:23 is uh, Kaman. Uh, that is jira uh, that keeps your heart always healthy that's why jira or kaman is good uh, mentioned in Matthew chapter 23 23 again in Matthew 23 23 the third uh, herb is mentioned there is mint that we say in Hindi pudina uh, this mint gives you fresh breath and also it calms your nerves that's why it is very important uh, especially the salads uh, when we have it is always good this is the third thing the bible mentions the fourth thing in Exodus chapter 12 8 uh, it is mentioned about bitter herbs now it is bitter now these bitter herbs are good for joints uh, infection it takes care of and also good for digestion. So that's why in our food we must also have bitter herbs. That is the fourth thing. The fifth thing in Psalms 45 verse 8 it is mentioned about aloes or uh, it is also this aloe vera. So this aloes it is good for your skin, uh, good for burns and also it is used for embalming. So that's why aloes were used for these things. Uh, that is the fifth thing. Uh, the sixth 
thing again in Psalms 45 verse 8, it is cassia, that is another herb and that is also good for your hairs, it takes care of your hair, so cassia is good for hair. A uh, seventh thing, when we read the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 4 verse 14, uh, it mentions about cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon is uh, good because it maintains healthy level of glucose in the blood. That's why cinnamon is very important because it maintains healthy level of glucose in the blood. That is the seventh thing. Eighth thing, Genesis chapter 43 verse 11, uh, there is mentioned about balm. Now this balm, uh, it is good for wounds and that's why it is also very important. And the ninth thing is Numbers chapter 11 verse 5, uh, there is mentioned about garlic. Now this garlic, uh, in Hindi we say lasun, this garlic kills germs. That's why it is also good to be used in your food because it kills the germs. That is the ninth thing. The tenth thing again when we go to the Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 4 verse 14, uh, there is mention about saffron. Now saffron is used for food coloring. So food, in those times, in the olden time, uh, saffron was used for food coloring. That is the tenth uh, herbs that is mentioned. The 11th uh, Psalms 45 verse 8, it is more. More uh, is good for pains, for sores. Uh, this is a good thing. So that's why this more was also used. Uh, and the 12th is Matthew chapter 13, 31 and 32. It mentions about mustard seed. Now that is also good for muscle pain. So these are the main, though there are many, these are the main uh, 12 important herbs in the Bible and you can use it so that you can prolong your days on this earth. He doesn't want you to die before time, that's why uh, in the beginning uh, the children of Adam and Adam and all those men in those times, they used to eat a lot of herbs uh, so that uh, their life was prolonged. That's why you see in the book of Genesis, they lived for 800 to 900 years. Uh, also further, in the book of Exodus, chapter 9, 24 and 25 says, uh, when there was uh, the 10 plagues uh, in Egypt, now the seventh plague was hail and fire. Now this uh, hail and fire, when it uh, fell upon the land of Egypt. It uh, says that it destroyed all the herbs of Egypt. Uh, but the children of Israel, they were in the land of Goshen. And Bible says no hail came upon the land of Goshen where the children of Israel were. So God took care of God's people and uh, they had all the herbs, but the herbs in Egypt that was destroyed. Uh, further in Exodus chapter 10 verse 12 and 15 it again says the 8th plague after the 7th plague the 8th plague was locust and it says uh, ate every herb of the land even all that the hail has left so whatever the hail has left uh, in the 7th plague is when locust came it destroyed all that was uh, remaining. So the remaining herbs were all destroyed uh, by the locust. But God took care of his people uh, who were in the land of Goshen. God took care of them and that's the God we have. He takes care of all the people who believes him and follows him and do all his commandments. Uh, this is the first sub uh, subject under this main topic we have seen. Now we'll go to the second subject. Now we'll see about the fruits in the Bible. Uh, these are very important. Uh, Genesis chapter 1 29 says, And God said, Behold, every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat, that is for food. 
so god gave uh, also fruits uh, for your life so that you may live a healthy life now there are main six uh, fruits that are there in the bible which are very important and uh, there is also one more uh, i have written uh, that is uh, uh, we will see today the first uh, fruit in the bible it is mentioned in joel chapter 112 it says about apple and there is a old saying which says an apple a day keeps the doctor away and that is true uh, because this apple when you have it reduces lung cancer bladder cancer and lowers cholesterol so that's why apple is very important and uh, we must along with the food on a daily basis we must have all these uh, fruits that are there so first we have seen about apple the second one numbers chapter 13 23 Uh, it is mentioned about grapes now grapes uh, you will see throughout the bible it is mentioned uh, it is said that it is a nectar of god and this grapes gives you good blood and it is a body builder not that you go to a gym to get your body builder but here are god's uh, fruits that will keep your body in a good shape so this grapes is a body builder and it also takes care of all your liver disorders that are there this grapes and the grape juice are always good so this is the second thing that we must uh, always try to have uh, because it is mentioned in the bible the third thing we see in judges chapter 9 9 it is mentioned about the olive now olive is always good there is olive oil also uh, olive is good for wounds for heart for brain for skin for all this thing olive is good that's why uh, god has been careful uh, in writing all these things in the bible so that uh, we may live a good life on this earth so we have seen about apple grapes olive now the fourth thing numbers chapter 13 23 uh it is also mentioned about figs uh figs are good because it is also for healing of boils uh, in second king chapter 20 verse 7 when king azekah was sick and he had boils then god told him to apply uh this figs and uh, he put it on his boils and he was healed and uh, that's why it is a uh, uh, healing of the boils and also uh, it balances blood sugar and controls blood pressure so therefore fix normally lot of people don't have but it is important uh, that's why i said we must change our eating habits and uh, allow all these things to be in our menu so that uh, god may keep your life healthy the fifth thing again in numbers chapter 13 23 uh pomegranates are mentioned there uh pomegranates are good for your skin the skin uh it will make you youthful and then it prevents inflammation and prevents breast cancer now to get that pomegranate it is a difficult thing because uh, it takes a lot of time you have to peel it up and then uh, take out all the grains so that's why people don't take the pain uh, to eat these things because uh, it is a lengthy procedure but uh, bible mentions about pomegranates because that will keep your skin youthful it prevents inflammation uh, prevents breast cancer so these are god who has given all these things in the bible so that your body may be free from all the diseases that's why god has uh, written all these fruits and herbs in the bible so this is the fifth thing the sixth thing uh, is uh, in a deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 3 says and the plain of the valley of jericho the city of palm trees in exodus 
in Elim, uh, there were 70 palm trees. Now from these palm trees you get dates, uh, which is also very good because uh, the honey that is mentioned uh, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 8, it is from these dates. So that honey is from the dates. Now these dates, it improves your digestive system. It is the heart protector. It has got high fiber. It gives uh, muscle strength. It cures night blindness. And it is rich in vitamins and minerals. That's why you see that the dates, palm trees is always mentioned throughout the Bible and you see that. And these palm leaves were used in the New Testament also, you will see it. It is also mentioned in the book of Revelation. So this is the sixth fruit that I have showed you. And the seventh, uh, you can take it as uh, in Numbers chapter 11 verse 5, melons, that is watermelon. Now these melons are also good because it is a blood purifier and it aids uh, weight loss. So these are the uh, seven fruits, uh, six are very, very important. Uh, normally, a lot of people speak about the six fruits, but I have added one more that is watermelons because that is also good. Uh, it is also mentioned in Numbers chapter 11, 5. So these are the seven fruits uh, which are very good and uh, we must uh, have it because uh, many of the people don't eat fruits and herbs. Uh, they only have, most of the people try to have uh, meat, but they rarely uh, eat herbs and fruits. That's why when we visit homes also, people always try to give non-veg food, but vegetarians are seldom seen. Uh, herbs and fruits are always missing. Now that's why we need to change our food habits uh, so that we may able to have a good health. Uh, this is all about fruits in the Bible. So now we go to the third topic. Uh, that is the nine food of the promised land for good health. When God told Israel that I will give you a good land. Because God is good. That's why he gave to the Israelites a good land. And he wants that the people also should be good and uh, they must eat the good of the land. So in Deuteronomy chapter 8, uh, verse 8, uh, also verse 7 says, a good land, because God is good, and that's why he's given us, given the Israelites a good land, which is called the land of promise. Now in that uh, good land, God said, there are uh, seven things mentioned there in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8. Uh, that's why a lot of people say it's seven food of the promised land. But I have also added two more because that is also there in the Bible. The first thing uh, Deuteronomy 8, 8 uh, mentions about wheat. That is one. Second is barley. Third is wines. Uh, that is grapes. Fourth is fig trees. Fifth is pomegranates. Sixth is olive oil. Uh, seventh is honey that is from dates. Uh, these are the seven things mentioned there. But you see the majority of them are fruits. Uh, wheat and barley. Then you see that all other things are all fruits. So God has given a lot of prominence to fruits and herbs. That's why it is very important. And because people don't have fruits and herbs, uh, the lifespan is reduced. So people are not able to go up to 70 years. They die uh, earlier than that because uh, people have changed the uh, food pattern that God gave in the Bible and people have adopted their own pattern and that's why the uh, people are not able to live the life God has given. So these are the seven things uh, which are important. The eighth thing, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 11, 9 says, the God who gave that promised land, it is also called a land that floweth with milk and honey. So the milk is also mentioned. 
Israel was full of abundance of milk. Uh, I will mention last time I showed you about the goat's milk and uh, other milks that are also there in the Bible. That's why it said a land that flows with milk and honey. So the eighth uh, food of the promised land is milk. That is also very important. So these are all the nutritious things God has given. So eighth one is milk. And the ninth one is Exodus chapter 23, 25. He says, He shall bless thy bread and thy water. So water is also another important thing that God said it. He will bless the water also. So these are the uh, water is the ninth food of the, in the promised land which God gave. So these are the nine food which is very important for our health and uh, he has given the Israelites a good land because God is good and he is careful about your health. That's why he said eat more of fruits and uh, milk and water wheat and barley. You see rice is missing here. Uh, that's why you need to know that we need to change our eating pattern so that we may be able to live a good life. Because in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 10 says, When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given thee. So we need to bless God. That's why I said in uh, the message last time uh, being health uh, when we eat we must always pray and eat because it is God who gives us everything to eat a lot of people have money but they are not able to eat things what is the use of that money so whatever God gives we need to bless him so that we may be able to eat well and uh, we may be full for the good land that God has given to them and God has given to you and me also all those things therefore all this uh, food that you see in the promised land it is also available here so therefore you can also have this nine uh, food for your good health so that God may be able to bless you uh, the fourth topic that we will see about minerals now a lot of minerals uh, the body requires uh, so therefore we will see today about eight minerals which are very important one mineral is calcium uh, today we a lot of people eat calcium tablets iron tablets and so many other tablets uh, to supplement their uh, deficiencies uh, so then uh, but if we have this uh, uh, food that is uh, herbs fruits and vegetables all these things uh, will give you a lot of minerals in your body so calcium in order to get calcium in your body you need to eat a lot of leafy vegetables orange juice and uh, regarding the fish sardines are very good that will give you a lot of calcium in your body the second mineral that we need in our body is copper uh, that you can obtain from whole grains and raisins uh, that is also good the third uh, minerals required in your body is iron now a lot of people eat iron tablets but if you have olive and uh, egg yolk uh, whole grains then that is also good uh, that will give you a lot of iron in your body uh, fourth one is magnesium for that also you need to eat a lot of nuts uh, and also green leafy vegetables it is also very important uh, another fifth one is uh, manganese now for that manganese you need to eat dry fruit whole grain leafy vegetables that will give you manganese in your body the sixth thing is phosphate uh, for that you need to eat uh, meat, uh, fish, egg and milk that will give you phosphate in your body. The seventh is potassium. For that you need to eat a lot of fruits and juices. Uh, natural. Uh, when I say juices it is not soft drinks. Soft drinks are not good. It is uh, fruit juices are always uh, good 
uh, and we must always avoid soft drinks and the eighth one is zinc in order to have zinc in your body you must have seafood egg uh, meat these are all good for uh, getting zinc in your body so these are the eight minerals that the body requires for that we need to eat all these things that god has uh, given us we have seen last time uh, about all the food items so all these things are covered there so you can see uh, that message also that will give you more understanding now we'll move to the fifth uh, sub topic that is about vitamins now a lot of people have vitamin tablets but there are natural things where you can get these vitamins uh, for that what you need to eat especially vitamin a you need to eat lot of green leafy vegetables orange fruit milk egg meat and fish all these things uh, will give you lot of vitamin a now vitamin b there are uh, many vitamin b's but i am only speaking about one vitamin b1 uh, when you have whole grain uh, and beans uh, that will give you uh, vitamin b1 so you can check there are many other uh, vitamin b also but uh, all these things you see you can have a lot of vegetables that will give you uh, this vitamin in your body the third thing is vitamin c uh, for vitamin c you need to eat lot of fresh fruits citrus uh, vegetables uh, these are also good citrus when i say you can have lime juice uh, all those uh, juice are all good for your body so that will give you vitamin c uh, vitamin d uh, for that you need to uh, give exposure to sun so you should also go out under the sun and that is also important uh, because uh, that will give you vitamin d also fish egg yolks also are good uh, that is that will give you vitamin d uh, vitamin e uh, for vitamin e you need to eat lot of nuts eggs uh, green leafy vegetables will also give you vitamin e then uh, the sixth thing is vitamin h that is uh, biotin this uh, vitamin h uh, for that you need to eat lot of uh, nuts uh, egg milk and cheese that will also good and finally uh, vitamin k for vitamin k you need to eat lot of leafy vegetables cow milk egg yolk all these things are good uh, so that uh, you will have this natural vitamins rather than having uh, vitamin uh, medicines instead of having that it is good that you may have all these uh, natural things uh, organic things are always good natural things so that uh, it will keep your body healthy so these are the minerals i spoke about vitamins which are essential in your body so that's why we need to change our food habits so that uh, we may able to live the time that god has given us on this earth and during that time we may able to praise god and honor him if you are sick then you will not be able to praise god you will not be able to read bible you may not be able to do god a service so therefore god is concerned about your health that's why uh, all these things are mentioned in the bible so that it may help you uh, on a daily basis now we go to the next topic Uh, is the sixth topic that is the spirit of man revived through food so many a times uh, the spirit of man was revived through food we'll see some examples in the bible so in judges chapter 15 19 uh, here when you read this book of judges chapter 15 it is mentioned about samson now here it says but god claimed a hollow place that was in the jaw uh, that is the jaw of an ass and there came water there out and when he had drunk that is when uh, samson uh, when he drank that water his spirit came again and he revived 
Wherefore he called the name thereof En Akoro. En Akoro, which is in Lehi unto this day. So here Samson, his spirit was revived when he had water that he got from the jaw bone of an ass. So that water that he got that has revived him. That's why you see that many a times you visit people, the first thing people give you is water and that is very important and that's why your spirit can be revived. So many a time when you are fainting or all these conditions that comes in our life, you see that people give water to drink uh, so that your spirit, uh, your life is again revived. So this is one thing uh, how the spirit of man is revived. Another example, 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 11 and 12 says, uh, here when David uh, was there and uh, he says they found an Egyptian uh, in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread and he did eat and they made him to drink water and they gave him a piece of a cake of figs and two cluster of raisins and when he had eaten his spirit came again to him for he had eaten no bread nor drunk any water three days and three nights and in verse 13 you read he was also sick uh, this is when uh, Amalekites uh, came and invaded the place where David was and David's wife and all his people were taken and that's the time when they found an Egyptian there and they brought that Egyptian to David and they gave him bread and also water then they gave him figs they gave him also raisins and when he had eaten all these things what happened his spirit came back he was sick for three days he says you read the whole chapter you will see that so his spirit was revived when he had all this food you don't see any medicine given here but you see these natural things when he had his spirit was revived that's the second uh, thing that we see in the bible again uh, in second samuel uh, chapter 16 verse 1 and 2 now this is when david uh, uh, came to a place and uh, you see that uh, here it says when david was a little past the top of the hill behold ziba the servant of uh, mephibosheth I met him with a couple of asses saddle and upon them 200 loaves of bread. So he brought 200 loaves of bread and a hundred bunches of raisins and a hundred of summer fruits and a bottle of wine that is from grapes. And the king said unto Ziba, What meanest thou by this? And Ziba said, The asses be for the king's household to ride on and the bread and the summer fruit for the young men to eat and the wine that such as be faint in the wilderness may drink so when you are in a faithful condition then these are all good especially the wine that's why in the new testament god said have a little wine but people misunderstood it and they say that uh, God has given us permission to drink but they don't know that Bible says drunkards will go to hell Bible says it therefore uh, we need to be careful uh, but this uh, grape wine is also good uh, for your health here see this was brought by Zaiba he was a servant of Mephibo, uh, Mephibosheth and he gave to David all these things so that uh, if in case when they are traveling in the wilderness uh, they may uh, not faint provided they have all these things that's why this man came and gave to David all these things another example you see in 2nd Samuel 17 27 to 29 uh, this is when David came to Mahaniam when he came to that place here it says uh, 2nd Samuel 17 27 to 29 and it came to pass when David was come to Mahaniam that uh, 
Shobai, the son of Nehash, of Rabbah, of the children of Ammon, and Mekar, the son of Aminiel of uh, Lodebar, and uh, Barzalai, the Gileadite of uh, Rogalim, brought, there are 14 items they brought. Uh, out of it, 11 items were food items. The 14 items they brought was bed, basins, earthen vessels, feet, barley, flour, parched corn, that is roasted corn, and beans, lentils, uh, parched uh, pulse, that is roasted pulse, honey, butter, sheep, cheese of kind, for David and for the people that were with him to eat. For they said, the people is hungry, weary and thirsty in the wilderness. So you have these three people. See, they took pains to bring these 14 items. Out of it, 11 items were food items. Uh, they gave it to David. See how they were concerned? Because God is concerned about his people. That's why God always makes provisions. We saw that earlier also how uh, Zaiba uh, brought all those things and uh, we also saw that uh, uh, Samson how just drinking water his spirit was revived we saw that Egyptian who was sick how he was revived so in all these examples that we see in the time of Samson you don't see any medicine given for the spirit revival neither we saw that Egyptian uh, his life after three days was revived not with medicine but this food, uh, also we saw that how David was given by the people so many things uh, so that they may not faint uh, if they are hungry or if they are weary, if they are thirsty, all these food items, fruits and juices and all the food items that will take care of them. So you don't see any medicine mentioned there, but all these people, their spirit was revived by having all these foods. Therefore, we also need to have all these things, whatever is mentioned in the Bible, these are all God's golden rules you need to follow and that's why we need to change our food habits so that we may be able to live a good life. Further, in Acts chapter 9, verse 19, when Paul was converted, uh, he was also blind for three days and for three days he had no food, it says. But in Acts chapter 9, 19 says, when he Paul, whose earlier name was Saul, had received meat, that is food, he was strengthened. So when you have food, you will be strengthened. And when you are strengthened, you will be able to do a lot of activities for God. That's why uh, here you see that Paul was strengthened. Then was Paul certain days with the disciples uh, which were at Damascus. Again in Acts chapter 27, verse 33-34, when uh, Paul was traveling with 276 people uh, in the ship, there was a tempest there and uh, uh, they threw all the things of the uh, ship into the water to make the ship light and 14 days they were fasting and praying, having taken nothing. And then that's the time when Paul told them, take some meat, for this is for your health. See, this is for your health. So. When you have meat, that will keep you in good health. For he says, for there shall not an hair fall from the head of any of you. So therefore, even after 14 days of fasting, 276 people, not one person uh, fainted or uh, he had any health issues. God took care of them uh, during that uh, journey. and. Uh, that's why Paul said, after 14 days, have some meat, it is for your health. Now, in the New Testament, when we come, we see also, uh, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So we must also, natural uh, hunger, we should also have spiritual hunger, so that we may be filled. In John chapter 6, 35, uh, Jesus said unto the people, I am the bread of life. 
He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. So therefore, if a man comes to Christ, then God will take care of his hunger and thirst. God is a provider. He is Yahweh Ide. He will definitely provide you the food that you require. And that's why he himself is the bread of life and he is able to take care of you when you believe him. John 4, 14 says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So Jesus Christ is the bread of life and he is also the water of life. To the Samaritan woman he said, drink this water that I give you, it will be a well of water springing forth into everlasting life. So there is a life after death, that is the everlasting life, that only Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, He only can give because He is your and my bread of life and He is also the water of life. So therefore, He is the one who can give you strength in our faithful condition also. He can take care of you. Your spirit can be revived uh, when you believe Him and follow Him because He is the bread of life and he is the water of life. Now we turn to the seventh uh, topic, subtopic that is, if you turn aside, then what happens? We will read some scriptures. In Deuteronomy chapter 11, 16 and 17, God spoke to the Israelites and said, Take heed to yourself, that your heart be not deceived, and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. Then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you and he shut up the heaven that means he will never give you rain he will shut up the heaven that there will be no rain and that the land yield not a fruit so fruit, vegetables, herbs everything will be missing if there is no rain just because you turned aside from God and lest you perish quickly from of the good land which the Lord giveth you so God says if anybody turn that also he has written. That's why uh, if we need to have food, then told, don't turn away from God. Uh, always blessing. But if you turn away, then he will shut up the heaven. There will be no rain and the land will not yield uh, fruit and uh, you will perish quickly from the good land which the Lord giveth you. So that's why we need to be careful. Now another scripture in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2.36 uh, this he speaks about Eli's children. Eli was a priest and his children were doing a lot of horrible things which were not right. Uh, and that's why you see that in one day you see four death there that is Eli is dying, his son Ophini and Phineas they are dying and uh, Phineas wife also is dying. Uh, so we see on a particular time you see four death in the family. Now it says in 1st Samuel 2.36 It shall come to pass that everyone that is left in that house so God is telling through prophet uh, Samuel that everyone that is left in that house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread that means they will uh, crouch for a piece of silver that is money and a morsel of bread, a piece of bread, and shall say, put me, I pray thee, into one of the priest officers. Because when you are in the priest officers, uh, you are given a lot of food. God provides you all the food. That's why this uh, scripture says, uh, put me into one of the priest office that I may eat a piece of bread because when you are in the priest office then God on a regular basis feeds you and that's why the people are saying that put me into that office so that at least I will get a piece of bread because a uh, time will come because uh, Eli's children have done lot of things which were not right lot of abomination that's why God said you will crouch for food, piece of silver, money and for food and he will come one day and say put me in the priest office 
so that I may get at least a piece of bread. So if you disobey God, then uh, there will be no money, there will be no food. Also in Psalms 109 verse 10, this is all about uh, Judas Iscariot. It is, the scripture is about Judas Iscariot. Regarding his children, it is said in uh, Psalms 109 verse 10 says, Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places, that is waste places. So they will have to go long distance to get bread and they will keep uh, begging all through their life. That's what God said about the children of Judas Iscariot. So therefore, if you turn aside, then uh, it is a big problem because the wrath of God will be kindled against you and uh, then you will shut the heaven, uh, no yield from the land and you will perish quickly from the land. And that's why we see in the life of Eli's children, we also saw in the life of children of Judas Iscariot. So therefore, if we need food, then we must uh, stay uh, with God, do all that which is right, honor him and uh, follow all the commandments that he has given so that you may uh, need not beg all your life. As we come to the conclusion, see David in the book of Psalms 37, 25 says, I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. So if you obey the commandment, you will not beg bread. Otherwise, all through your life you will read, uh, you will lead a life of begging and borrowing all through your life. That's why we need to trust God. God is able to provide everything to you because He is Yahweh, He is the provider. In Philippines chapter 4, 19, it says, But God, my God shall supply all your need, all your need, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So he is the one who will supply all your needs. So therefore, we need to obey him. We must not turn aside from him. If you turn aside from him, then it will be uh, a big problem in our life. We live a life of begging and borrowing. And all these things will happen in our, therefore we need to be careful. So today, uh, I have spoken to you about herbs and fruits which are very important. And that's why we need to change our food habits. The pattern of our eating we must change. We must have more of herbs and fruits in our daily food. Uh, so that that will keep you in good health. And uh, you will be able to worship God. You will be able to... Uh, do a service unto the Lord, you will be able to serve Him all the days of your life. And God expects that you may live a life of 70 years or 80 years. So why should you die before time? When we change our menu, then our life span is reduced. That's why we need to be careful that we follow all this instruction that God has given us in the Bible. So even He has mentioned about fruits, herbs and all food items so that we may have and we may be healthy to serve him all the days of our life. So may the good Lord bless you. Uh, before we could wind up, we will pray for all those who may be sick and uh, hearing this word they may change their menu so that they may be able to live a good life and uh, let everybody have more fruits and herbs in your food so that you will be able to live a good life and may not be sick. But today we will pray for all those who are sick, who are in worries and tensions and anxieties or whatever problem they may be. Uh, we pray uh, that God may heal them and uh, keep them in good health. So let's bow our heads, close our eyes that we may pray. Father in heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Almighty God, the everlasting Father, the God who is concerned about our health, our well-being. That's what I was written about herbs, fruits and the meat, the food that we need to eat. All that is mentioned in the Bible so that we may live a life uh, that thou has allotted to us on this earth. That all the days of our life we may be able to praise, worship and honor thee, Lord. In this time, Lord, we pray thou may bless this word that has been ministered. Pray for all those who may be sick 
in worries and tensions and anxieties. Whatever be the problems, Lord, I pray in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, heal them. Increase their faith, forgive all their sins, wash them, cleanse them through the precious blood of Yeshua the Messiah. Make their life holy and clean, accept in their sight as a living sacrifice, Lord. And have mercy upon them, give them courage, wisdom, and strength to withstand all the wiles of the devil. They may honor thee, praise, and worship thee, Lord. Bless everybody. Thank you for hearing us, Lord. We give all glory to you. In Yeshua Hamashiach's name we ask. Amen. So we once again uh, thank you for the time that you give us as you are listening to these words. Bible is a beautiful book. That's why I keep reading so that you may live healthy and you may live a good life and that God is concerned about your well-being. So just be not hearers of the word but let us be all doers of the word so that we may leave the time till it's coming. So understand all this word and uh, follow God so that uh, your life may be a life of blessing to you and to others also. Thank you for hearing us. Till we meet again, God be with you. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much.